Right, we're looking at conversion graphs here in this video here. Um, got a conversion graph drawn here. All right, uh, conversion graph sort of does what it says on the tin. It converts between one unit and another. So in this case, it's euros um, here, euros and pounds. Okay, it could be uh, I don't know, miles to kilometres. It could be pints to litres. It could be anything you like, really, as long as it's two units. So there you go. That's what a conversion graph is. Um, now then. Let's have a look at these questions. Now, the other thing is actually, before I start on the questions, is uh, it does say use the conversion graph to estimate the questions or the answers to the question. Right, so that's pretty crucial because it says if I'm going to have to use and I'm going to have to show that I'm using the um, conversion graph. All right, so it says if I exchange 15 pounds, how many euros will I receive? Now, to prove that I'm using the graph, what I'm going to do is take my ruler, I'm going to draw a straight line up from 15 and then across. Oh, actually, I'm just I'm slightly off there, so let's just rub that out there. So it goes there and perfect because actually, 15 pounds on this graph is exactly 18 euros. So there we go, and that proves I'm using the graph. And the uh, it often says in the mark scheme um, that you you know make sure that uh, they've drawn on the graph or words to that effect essentially. Now second part, if I exchange fifteen euros, so this time I'm going to go across from fifteen and I'm going to go down. And now this time, and this is where the estimate bit comes in. Um, I'm not bang on a line, so I'm going to actually estimate that at about £12.50. Now, I imagine the mark scheme would say anything between 12 to 13 okay? But I've shown that I've read off the graph correctly, so I should be all right there. Now, the third part says, if I exchange £45, how many euros will I receive? Now, unfortunately, it only goes up to 20 So I've got to find a number that goes into, or a factor of 45 read that off, and then scale it up. Now, fortunately, 15, which I calculated earlier, right, goes exactly into uh, 45. I know that 15 pounds is, eight, oops, is 18 euros. Uh, so I also know that 15 times 3 is 45 pounds. So to get my answer, all I'd have to do would be 18 euros times 3. And all you uh, keen darts fans out there will tell me that's 54. Okay, and there's my answer. So I'm just going to circle that actually in a different colour. What should we use? Uh, yellow, there we go. Right, that would be my answer there. I'll write it up there. I'm slightly out of the box. There you go. But um, all right, if, if it's off the graph, you're going to have to f read off a number that's on the graph and then multiply that um, up to get your answer. So there you go. Conversion graphs, no, no more difficult than that.